Here's how I play Doing the Cockroach. Um, if you haven't seen this Modest Mouse documentary, if you're a fan of them or you are a fan, it's a Pitchfork documentary. It's pretty awesome. If you Google Pitchfork uh, Modest Mouse documentary, it's about Lonesome Crowded West, which I thought was their best album and got me excited about them again. Um, so pull up the tab for this, and I'll just play along and then stop and explain it. This tab's really good. Whoever did it did a great job, so... So far, this is like the main riff people would think about for the song. You put your ring finger on four, your middle finger up on three, and then you go down. So that's four, three, and then do it again. Four, three, back to four. power chord, which is 2-4-4. Four, four. <laughs> most of the time, Lost Mouse, they always bend everything a little bit, like twang it out. It's kind of their style, especially on this album. So I'll keep going. the next riff, you go like this. You can use your thumb. I, I haven't really seen him do it live, like Isaac tends to play the thumb here a lot, but this is pretty comfortable. So first finger on seven. So it's like, this is a little minor shape. Seven, seven, seven on G. Then you go to A5. So five, seven, seven. You go back up to B minor, or you could try it like this. Then you gotta kind of switch here. I mean, some people actually do power chords with their thumb. I think that's pretty awkward, so I would do it like this. And the next bit is kind of the same, but it has a harmonic. Make sure you look at the tab, it's pretty easy. So that next part, you gotta go like almost the same, 7-7-7, seven, seven, seven. this is B minor. And then hit this ninth fret harmonic with your pinky. So if you look at the tab, you'll see like a little star after the 9. And it's harmonic. Then you can either do the power chords, or you can play this next riff. So next 
Spirit of Faith, Modest Mouse uses tons of major shapes. They like to do like that kind of thing. And actually, Joy Division, I've been learning a lot of their songs lately. They do actually the same thing, which is kind of interesting. But this is A major, 5 5 4 5. Then you go up to this little D major thing. 4 5 4 5. Then you again. You can pick one that you want to do. So we'll keep going. sounds and mute sounds. It seems like it's mainly 7th fret and sometimes this one. They like to use these harmonics too but I'm hearing this. And then they go, they do a little octave bit. 9th fret to 5th fret, 7th. Sometimes they go. And there's one part that isn't in the tab. Um, they just stay up here longer. You just kind of got to use your ear, but I'll do it one more time. tab after they do that then they just hang out up here it's just a variation
At the very end, they don't. They hit these harmonics. They go, but they bend them. I don't have a whammy, but ninth fret on the G string. They do it twice, then fifth fret on the D string, then ninth fret on the G string. So let me see if I can get to ring out. It's not very loud on this. If you have some distortion, it helps a lot with this kind of thing. And then... And that's it. So it's a pretty awesome song. And I'll put a link to that documentary in the description to this. Okay, bye.